Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Jaspers, and welcome back to School of Cardistry. Today, we're going to be learning a very, very unique and cool one-handed card called the L Cut. L Cut was created by card flourisher, XCM artist, cardist, Jerry Setskalski, and was first published in the book The Encyclopedia of Playing Card Flourishers by Jerry Setskalski. The move features a unique grip that is a little bit reminiscent of the thumb card grip, but instead of holding it right in the middle, it goes all the way to the end. The reason why we're teaching this move today is because next week's tutorial is going to require you to know this grip. Alright guys, so without further ado, I hope you're excited to learn Jerry Setskalski's L cards. Grab your favorite deck of playing cards and let's get down to learning it. L cards. To do L cards, first begin with half the deck in your left hand, like so. Hold the deck in a dealer's grip. Next, shift your pinky down to the bottom of the deck, like so. Next, using your middle finger and ring finger, push the packet up so that it stands on the palm of your hand. Your thumb then goes to the back of the packet, like so. Using friction, you're gonna push the packet down towards your ring finger position. Notice how the ring finger is quite high on the long side of the deck. You should be able to touch your ring finger and thumb on the opposite end of the deck. Using your ring finger, pull down a packet of 1 to 5 cards. The lesser cards that you pull down from this packet of playing cards right here, the more times you can repeat the L card movement. After that, using your pinky, you're going to push this packet up, just like so. One more time, from the side, pinky pushes the packet up. You're going to push the packet all the way to the front like so, and clip onto the packet using your middle finger, like this. To ensure that the smaller packet doesn't fall off your hand this way, what you can do is use your index finger to catch onto the cards like this before applying pressure using your middle finger to clip onto the packet of cards. Using your ring finger you're going to pull down another small packet of playing cards like so and using your pinky once again push that small packet of playing cards up onto the previous small packet of playing cards. Try to ensure that the two packs of playing cards land as square as possible. One more time, this is what it looks like. To close L-Cut, keep repeating this pattern until you are ready to close it. Then using your ring finger, grab onto the entire pack controlled previously by the thumb, pull it down and using your pinky, push it up onto the pack controlled by your middle finger and index finger. That's how you would close l cards if you were only doing it in one hand. But if you were performing l cards in both hands, doing running l cards like so, you would want to first begin by splitting the deck into two packets like this. Ring finger and middle finger once again preparing to prop up the deck. Push it up. Thumb controls the position of the cards using friction on the sides. Slide it inwards ring finger controls it and then the thumb. Pull down a small packet of cards and using your pinky push up the cards like so. You can do it concurrently like this or alternatively you could do it alternating between your right hand and left hand like so. This is the way that I prefer presenting the L cards. To close the L cards instead of doing the previous method of just pushing it up all the way to there, there's actually an alternative method to close the L cards when you have L cards in both hands. Using your ring finger, pull down a small packet like so. Enter a display. Showcase it to your audience. Once you've presented the display, Rotate your right hand in like so and capture this packet of playing cards between these two packets of playing cards. Next, rotate this hand upwards 
and you're gonna clip this like so. Finally, close this packet and you square up the entire deck of playing cards real quick. Here's an extra tip to make running L cards easier to do. While executing the L cards, you will want to turn your wrist just a little bit. This way, the packet has more momentum and can find its ending position easier. In fact, if you get used to doing L cards using momentum, you can even have the packets going upwards like this against gravity. So to end this tutorial, here's a rundown of how to do the L cards one more time. Begin in dealer's grip, pinky moves down to here. Using your middle finger and ring finger, push up the packet, clip onto the packet using your thumb like so. Using your thumb, push down this packet so that your ring finger captures the cards in this position. Shift your thumb back on top of the packet and use your ring finger to pull down a small number of cards. Use your pinky to pivot the card upwards like so. Grip onto it using your middle finger and index finger. Ring finger, pinky. Ring finger, pinky. Ring finger, pinky. To close, use your ring finger, take control of this entire pack of playing cards, use your pinky, push it up onto the rest of the deck. And that's it. Now, some of you guys may be finding this move to be really, really, really difficult. And to be fair, it is. It is a very difficult move. In my opinion, the L cards is one of those moves that you really have to practice it over and over until you get the hang of the movement and momentum of the playing cards. Without clocking in the hours to practice and get used to the movement of the cards, I think this is one of the most difficult, easy moves in cardistry. The best way to get good at L cards is to sit down on the couch, put on a show that you enjoy, and just keep practicing the move until it becomes second nature. All right guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please stay safe. Um, if you like the cards that is featured in this YouTube video, please check out thenewdeckorder.com or use the link in the description box below. Until next time, I'm Jaspers. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.